So the Tomorrowverse is a young universe and still somewhat of an unknown entity to some, so I thought it was about time to go ahead and make a video on what the Tomorrowverse really is. I get a lot of comments with people asking, is this movie not in the Tomorrowverse? Isn't this movie part of the Tomorrowverse? And the main two I'm talking about there are Catwoman Hunted. Catwoman Hunted is not part of the Tomorrowverse. It has no connection to any of those movies. And Constantine the House of Mystery. I don't talk about as much as the actual movies because it's a short that's why it wasn't on my list when I ranked the movies I was only including the movies and not the shorts that are connected and something different about the tomorrow verse compared to say the DC animated movie universe is that they do have shorts that tie into the universe it's not just the full-length movies but speaking of the DC AMU, the Tomorrowverse is basically just a reboot of the DC animated movie universe. It is the outcome of the second Flashpoint that the Flash causes at the end of Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, which that is more so explained in Constantine the House of Mystery. But let's just go ahead and get into all the entries, starting with all the full-length movies. I feel like this is what people are aware of most. It started with Superman, Man of Tomorrow, and the next three entries were Justice League Society, World War II, Batman the Long Halloween, Parts 1 and 2, and finally, Green Lantern, Beware My Power. As far as I can tell, you can just watch these movies in release order, and that is the same as the chronological order. I'm not sure if maybe Part 1 of the Long Halloween takes place before Man of Tomorrow, or before Justice Society, World War II, or before both of them even, because of course the Long Halloween, parts 1 and 2, it takes place over a full year or so. Certain parts of that movie could be happening adjacent to the prior movies, or they could happen after, part 1 could be before. I'm not sure on that, you can watch them in release order and be fine though. Moving on to the shorts that are part of the Tomorrowverse. As far as I can tell, there are only two, those being Adam Strange and Constantine, the House of Mystery. And of course, the House of Mystery acts as that bridge between the DC animated movie universe and the Tomorrowverse. It kind of takes place in its own realm with Constantine being our look into the new universe and how it is the cause of the second flashpoint that Constantine urged the Flash to cause. And Adam Strange acts as a good precursor to Green Lantern Beware My Power. Of course, he is a character featured in that movie, and much of what is said in that movie about his backstory and events that took place beforehand do occur in that animated short, including the death of his wife, Alana. And much like in Beware My Power, the war between Ron and Thanagar is a massive part of that short. And just looking forward a little bit, it seems that the next two animated movies that are going to be featured in the Tomorrowverse are Legion of Superheroes and Justice League War World, which I'm looking forward to both, especially Justice League War World. I hope they do justice to that movie, no pun intended. They fleshed out each of the characters at least a little bit, and seeing them come together isn't necessarily... A necessity, the universe has been hit and miss with me so far, but I'm hoping it can find its footing and that we will have a lot to look forward to with the Tomorrowverse. And just a little bonus for everyone that isn't sure where Catwoman Hunted lands, no, it's not a part of the Tomorrowverse, but it is canonically connected to Young Justice, which is pretty interesting. Canonically meaning that it doesn't directly take place in the Young Justice universe, but similar events happened somewhere along the timeline in Young Justice. And that makes sense because Greg Wiseman, one of the creators of Young Justice, worked on Catwoman Hunted. I'm sure a lot of the normal viewers on my channel already knew a lot of this, but if you're new or if you are a normal viewer and maybe didn't know a thing or two that I mentioned, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if there's something that I missed, you know, because I'm definitely not perfect. I just love DC animation and I want people that maybe pay less attention to this stuff than me to be up to date because, you know, I know DC animated movies aren't everyone's priority or anything, but I think they make a lot of good ones and I hope the good gets more consistent. I hope we can get 
it to a time like we were in the late 2000s, early 2010s, because that was peak DC. And I'm hoping they find that rhythm again. It would be great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video helped a little. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions for future videos, just let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to consider it, and I will see you guys next time.